हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ अक्षय कोरडे आई एम फ्रॉम द गीता माता जूनियर कॉलेज ऑफ साइंस एंड कॉमर्स साइंस आर्ट एंड कॉमर्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक ऑफ सोल्यूशन टुडे सो यू मस्ट बिफोर दैट यू मस्ट नो सम बेसिक कंसेप्ट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग सोल्यूशन यू मस्ट नो the what is a mixture you must know the mixture because so before the starting solution you must know about the mixture so first one is a question arises that what is a mixture so mixture is a <coughs> mixture consisting of two or more pure substance then retain their individual identities and can be separated by physical method uh, whenever two constituents are mixed with each other for example <coughs> if i take sugar and water uh, then when i mix them with each other then the substance that means sugar and water retain its identity in solution also that means before adding sugar in water it is a sweet but after adding it again sweet so sugar is retains its property that means sweetness that is why sugar solution it is called as a mixture one more thing that if i will add this sand in water i will add i will add this sand in water so Uh, sand uh, retain its property as well as water retains its property so properties of sand and water is does not change that is why these are the mixtures so there are two types of mixture one is a homogeneous another one is a heterogeneous so what is a homogeneous <coughs> so mixture having uniform composition and properties throughout it is called as a solution that means whenever we mix the two component if i will take if i will take the if i will take the one beaker and in that particular beaker if i add water after adding water there is a sugar is added sugar is added sugar is added uh, after adding the sugar in water uh, there is a uniform layer is formed there is only single layer is formed there is not multi multiple layer or uh, more than one layer is formed so that is why it is the homogeneous like mixture so mixture having uniform composition and properties throughout it is called as a solution that means in that homogeneous mixture <coughs> homogeneous mixture the uh, two constituent are mixed together then it form uniform layers so there is not a uh, more than one layer all component are uniformly distributed there so in a homogeneous mixture it is a uniform composition or it is also called as a solution if we take the example of heterogeneous mixture uh, what is heterogeneous mixture if i will take the <coughs> again the water if i will take the water then in that particular water if i add sand what i add i will add the add the sand what happen there uh, in water if i add the sand there is two layer is form bottom layer containing the sand upper layer containing the water so sand is immiscible or not soluble in water uh, that means there is a this mixture has a not uniform composition there is no single layers there is two layers is there there is two layers bottom layers as a for a salt uh, sorry bottom layer for the sand and upper layer for the water so this is the heterogeneous mixture okay <clears throat> i think you will get it uh, so one more important properties of mixture the physical by using physical method uh, we can separate by using physical method we can separate the all type of mixture including filtration distillation crystallization or simple mechanic method by using physical method we can separate out the 
all kind of mixture okay so next point is a uh, what is the solution and uh, how we can made the solution it is a very important concept so solution is made by two component solution containing solute and uh, solvent so solute plus solvents leads to formation of solution solute plus solvents lead to formation of solution so overall it is called as a solution always keep in mind <clears throat> how we can identify the solute from the solution how we can identify the solute from the solution uh, if i take water h2 one liter how much amount i take i take one liter h2 and if i will add the 50 gram of sugar in it what i add i add 50 gram of sugar what happen here sugar is completely dissolved in water but the amount of there is two component one is a sugar another one is a water so water has a bulk amount water has a bulk amount that is why it is called as a solvent sugar has a less amount as compared to water that is why it is called a solute that means in solution uh, the component which is present in that particular solution is a less in amount it is called as a solute and the larger amount <coughs> substances present in the solution it is called as a solvent so maximum amount in solution those component has a maximum amount it is called as a solvent and those compound has a minimum amount it is called as a solute very simple it is also next is a <coughs> next is a types of solution so if you have there is a diff, there is a different type of solution uh, if we memorize the solution or whenever the word come in our mind the solution word is come in our mind uh, we just focus that we just uh, memorize that uh, solution that means solute is a so, sorry uh, solute is a solid and a solvent is a liquid so it is a rough idea regarding to solution so there is no criteria for the solute and solvent we can use different solute different phase solute and different phase solvent we can take the gas as a solute as well as gas as a solvent so there is a formation of solution that means air is a homogeneous mixture air is a solution which containing solute is a gas as well as solvent is also gas <coughs> one more thing is that one more another thing is that a solute is a gas and a solvent is a liquid so here bulk amount is a liquid and a smaller proportion is a gas that means gas is a solute solvent is a liquid so uh, or aerated drinks or carbonated drinks for example cold drinks is a good example of solution of gas in liquid fair gas is a solute solvent is a liquid in carbonated drinks carbon dioxide is a dissolved in liquid or liquor fair carbon dioxide taken as a solute and liquor is taken as a solvent okay next is a next is a gas as a solute and solid is a gas is a solid and uh, gas is a solute and solid as a solvent for example hydrogen in platinum whenever i mix the hydrogen in platinum platinum it form solution of gas in solid so <clears throat> solution of gas in solid so if one more example of solution is a uh, liquid solute and solvent is a gas so water vapor in air so air in water vapor in air in which it is one of the homogeneous mixture in which mixture where gas is present in bulk proportion and a liquid is present in small proportion so <coughs> liquid in gas solution of liquid in gas has an example of water vapor in 
air okay next is a liquid in liquid next is a liquid in liquid so in case of liquid in liquid where solute is a liquid and a solvent is also liquid for example alcohol in water alcohol in water it is the good example of liquid and liquid that means solute is liquid as well as solvent is also liquid so it is one of the example after that liquid in solid so solute is a liquid and solute solvent is a solid amalgam in which liquid are liquid and so in which there is a mixture homogeneous mixture of liquid and solid after that solid in gas solid in gas where solid uh, is a solute and gas is a solvent where, what is the example of this moth ball in air is an example of solid in gas after that solid as a solute and liquid as a solvent so what is the example it is a well known very well known example to you so all of you know about that all of you learn about that uh, whenever uh, it is a domestic example that means we dissolve the solute we dissolve the salt in water so it is the solution of it is a solution of solid in liquid where solute is a solid and solvent is a liquid sugar in water is also one of the example then last one is a last one is a solute is a solid solvent is also solid so uh, best example of this kind of solution is alloy where alloy is a homogeneous mixture of two solids for preparation of alloys there is two metals or uh, one metal one non-metal is mixed together it form homogeneous mixture it is called as a alloy so all these are the type of solutions all of these are the types of the solution <coughs> so we will stop our lecture here so next part will be discussed in next video thank you very much